by the time I was um, diagnosed and staged, I was told I had stage 4B non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. In 2015, David Mitchell received the news nobody wants to hear. He had cancer. According to the Canadian Cancer Society, nearly half of all Canadians will be diagnosed with cancer sometime during their lives. But advancements in medicine are giving hope to Mitchell and others. We found that almost across the board, cancer survival is increasing for cancer in Canada. New numbers show that overall cancer survival rates have improved 8% since the early 1990s. And when it comes to patients like David Mitchell, diagnosed with a blood cancer like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, survival rates have increased nearly 20%. Hearing the news that you're in remission finally is probably the best feeling in the world. Research shows that precision medicine, based on a person's genetic makeup and specific type of cancer, is increasing the number of Canadians surviving. That approach had a dramatic impact on Mitchell's cancer. One of the most striking findings was the increase that we saw for blood cancer, so non-Hodgkin lymphoma, leukemia, multiple myeloma. We saw that since the early 1990s, uh, survival for those cancers has increased 16 to 19 percentage points. The report also saw a dramatic decrease in breast cancer deaths. It shows there was a 48 percent decrease in deaths compared to 1986 numbers. Smith says strides are also being made to prevent cancer, saying 4 in 10 cancers can be prevented with healthy living and other preventative measures. One of my doctors told me that if I had gotten this disease 10 years ago, even maybe even 5 years ago, I would not have survived. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.